I can see you. Where am I? There I am. Is it weird that it's like long and skinny? I think it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just poked my eyeball out with the light. We'll let people join. I'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll get started. How's everyone's daylight savings time? Saving, not savings. It doesn't happen, it's not plural. Oops. This is always the fun part. The awkward wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you revealing a new planner? No, I don't have any new planners. P.S. Um, you do get to watch The Walking Dead an hour earlier. I stopped watching it. After Rick left, I was just like... Meh. I don't know. We'll see. My mom still watches it, so she's letting me know if it's worth it. Okay. I think I'm going to get started. Is it much better? Okay. Maybe I'll give it a second chance. It's also hard. Sundays are hard for me to commit to anything. <laughs> I'm just trying to do all the other things. Uh, so Ian is going to help me answer questions so I don't get distracted and lose track of what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab my stickers. We're going to grab our planner. It's going to be great. We're going to go. So today or this week is St. Patrick's week, which isn't normally, I'm not normally a plan for the holidays type of person. But I was like, let's just, let's do green. I asked Ian, I was like, should I do green or should I do a different color? And he said, do green. So I'm doing green. So I have all my green stickers. I decided to do a currently reading this week because I'm trying to fill, now that I'm using my plum paper planner a little bit more, I'm trying to fill the space with other things that I could fill the space that isn't to-do list because my plum paper planner is my to-do list planner. So that's the situation I'm working on now. So I'm gonna do a currently reading, and then I also have this sticker, which is a little weekend banner sticker that's gonna be released on Monday. So that's exciting, new sticker peaks. I have my meal break, my miracle morning, the to-do word bars, days of the week, Weekly Intention, all the stickers, the Space of Infinite Possibility covers, and then the fitness stickers, which I already had made, which was nice. And then I also ripped out the little holiday sticker sheet from the Happy Planner booklet. And then I found some lime green washi to go with it. I really liked this one because it's more of a pastel lime green and it has these little leaves on it. And I'm just so over winter. I'm over it. I'm ready for spring. March is Colorado's snowiest month, though, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. It's been snowing a lot in the mountains. They've been having a lot of avalanches. So they can have it. So I'm going to go ahead, get this going. And feel free to ask questions. Yeah, Ian says ask questions. Let's see how I do multitasking, planning my 
spread for the week and answering questions. I woke him up for a, from a nap to do this, so. <laughs> Entertain him. <laughs> And go ahead and trim this off. I can't believe it's March though. I still like get stuck in my mind thinking it's like January or February and I'm like it's very much March. Which I'm excited about. I'm ready for spring. But it's just been so cold and gloomy and snowy. Ah, this is the hardest part. Oh, that totally messed up. When you have a birthday on a holiday, how do you decorate? Oh my gosh. I say decorate however you want. I'm not normally a holiday decorator at all. I don't do themes. I don't, I might do something for like Christmas, but I'm normally not a big holiday decorator. So I would say do whatever makes you happy if you just so happen to like have a Christmas birthday and you really like Christmas, then decorate for Christmas. But if you're just like meh about the holiday, then do whatever you want. Like my birthday happens to be around Easter sometimes and I, I don't think I would ever decorate for Easter. Oh my gosh, this is fighting back with me. I almost want to peel the other one off. I like don't know how to do a washi tape repair like this. We're gonna try this. Do what I want you to do. Lena says the first day of spring is the 20th. Oh yes. And I'm there with you about not having snow. Yes, no more snow. Like, it's good because Colorado's normally in a, in a drought, so I get it. Like, snow's a good thing, but it's just annoying. It's just annoying when it, like, at Colorado, we're kind of spoiled, and, like, this, it'll snow, and then the next day, it'll all melt, and then it's fine because it's like, oh, the snow is pretty, like, yay, and then it goes away, and you're like, cool, it's gone now. But this spring, it's just been snowing nonstop. And I'm tired of dealing with it. Uh, Celeste says, if I don't have much going on throughout the week, how can I make my week look more fun? It tends to look so bare. And it's a laugh and crying face, too. <laughs> what does that look like? I'm not, <laughs> not going to shoot no. it. <laughs> um, I would say... Find ways to fill that space with other things, which I'm trying to like, okay, show, I want to like show my work. So for example, like, what are your goals? What are you trying to accomplish? How can you fill that spot with those goals? Cause you don't necessarily like have to be like, I go to work. I do this. I mean, my weeks aren't very exciting. I just, I just make stickers all day. I don't have a lot going on either. Um, but it's just trying to find how you can fill the space. Like that's kind of what I'm gonna struggle with this week because I have a second planner and I don't need to cram it all in my passion planner. So that's why I'm gonna put in like the currently reading sticker. Cause I'm like, okay, like that takes up a good chunk of real estate cause it takes up like two hours on the timeline or you know fun washi tape that's another way to just fill space with color or I mean you can even go like the decorative sticker route because I mean I'm not a big deco sticker person I want to be in, kind of now though I now that I'm seeing everyone use them in their passion planners I'm like maybe I should get some deco stickers and I just keep looking away because I don't want to spend all my money. <laughs> I know it's a slippery slip. And I like that Samantha said that she prints out 
pictures. That's another great idea. It's just finding big things that can take up that space. So like I normally use my planner for like a to-do list, but I don't really like plan out my actual day because my day is the same thing most of the time. I hope that helps a little bit. Okay. I'm also going to stick with a Monday start planner. Oh, I like that. Look how pretty that is. Uh, because my plum paper planner is a Monday start planner and my content planner is a Monday start planner. So that's what I'm going to do with that. St. Patrick's Day is Sunday, right? Yes. So I'm going to take my little gold St. Patrick's Day guy and stick him over here. Slide your winner over. There we oh, go. It might actually be good. Oh, okay. I was I like, did I go delay. too far? I know. <laughs> the delay life. I'm like trying to watch in my computer screen, but it's not always perfect. Okay. Now I'm gonna do these big guys, and then we'll do the actual week. So first, I'm gonna do these guys. Is the big Space of Infinite Possibility to-do list covers, and they're always kinda tricky to put down. So wish me luck. I always just try to like line up a corner and then line it up with the black bar and then hope for the best. Like that. And then I like to use this Space of Infinite Possibility chart cover for the actual Space of Infinite Possibility. I'm gonna move that. And I like to use this guy for my social media tracker. Okay. We can do two in a row. Two perfectly laid stickers in a row. Don't jinx it, you're live. <gasps> no do-overs. No do <laughs> There's not a lot of do-overs even when I'm filming by myself. And then I really like these weekly intention stickers. I'm not the best at using them yet, but we're getting there. I used one last week and it's just a fun way to change up this little sidebar sticker. I do miss the quotes, but that's okay. I should. I haven't quite mastered these ones yet. Boom, I'll take it. Okay, now for the fun part. So first, I think I'm gonna go crazy and I'm gonna lay down this little weekend banner because I'm really excited about it. Hopefully I don't forget about those post-it notes. How long did I make it? Eh. <gasps> Look how cute that is. And then I'm gonna, so I'm gonna start with the Miracle Morning sticker because I really want to get back in the habit of that because I fell out of the habit when Warlock got injured because it was just wake up, make coffee, go see the horse. And I was okay with it last week, but then when I was doing, I'm doing the plan as you go on YouTube and that was taking up a lot of time and I would wake up and like do the first half of my miracle morning and then I would start filming and then I would film for an hour and then be like, oh my gosh, I haven't done all the things I need to do and it's already like 11 o'clock and I'd have like a moment of panic. 
<laughs> and then I wouldn't finish my miracle morning. So I'm trying to re configure my morning routines with the plan as you go. Gym then plan as you go. Yes, that's exactly. I need to do go to the gym and then do the plan as you go because I always I'm like, I don't have time to go to the gym. And I'm like, well, you actually did a lot already this morning because you filmed a whole video. You can go to the gym. That's the hard part about working for yourself. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. I'm trying to do like Monday and Tuesday at once and I just need to do one day at a time and then move on. Cause I'm over here forgetting my breakfast stickers. What's your favorite sticker? People always ask me what my favorite sticker is and that's really tough. But if you could only have one sticker, what sticker would it be? I think mine, mine would probably be one of these like bottom stickers because then I wouldn't have to draw it out. Samantha says the weight tracker. The sticker. weight tracker. That's a good one. Miracle morning. That's oh, one. that's a good one too. What am I doing? That, that, lunch. Okay. So I'm going to try to kind of use the timelines this week. I've been kind of doing the same thing for previous weeks. But now that I'm using that other planner, I kind of want to see how I plan out my days. I did kind of mess up Monday because I always eat breakfast before I go to the gym, but that's okay. It's just the bulletproof coffee, so we'll, we'll be okay. Dinners. I, one of my... Uh, goals for the year was to get better about like planning out our dinners a week in advance because Ann and I used to be in a really bad habit that we would just go get dinner after going to the post office and we'd go to the grocery store hungry and that's just always a bad idea <laughs> and so we would just buy all the food so I was like okay like we need to we need to calm down and we need to plan out our meals and only go to the grocery store once and not buy all the food. And we've been actually doing really good. I'm proud of us. We still, you know, we still get some fun items. Like I like going to the grocery store because I like to try new things and they'll be like, yeah, let's try this cheese out. So that's been nice. And I've been trying to get Ian to eat more vegetables. And so, this is where I leave. whatever you like it, it's for your own good. And so I've been sneaking cauliflower rice into things and he's actually eating it. So round of applause for Ian eating cauliflower. Oh, there you go. There's a good question. What tool are you using? Oh, this is my spatula. It's a silhouette spatula. I think it's technically for like vinyl, like vinyl stickers when you cut out vinyl. But I use it to lay out my stickers because it helps me lay out my stickers straight because heaven, I can't use my fingers. It doesn't work. Here, but this, link Ian's gonna put a link. This is the handiest little tool. Oh, that's not the sticker I want, ever. You don't know you're going to get one and you're going to be like, I don't know how I place stickers without it. But yeah, I just put the sticker on the spatula and then I just place it. Boom. And it's straight and it's not crooked. It's a life changing. Yeah. Right? Fingers just, they don't... How, how have we gotten so far with, with just our fingers? I know. Okay, meal planning. 
yeah, so I've been getting Ian to eat more, more cauliflower, so that's exciting. So now he'll eat, like, four vegetables instead of three vegetables. But I've been, like, sneaking it into, like, ground beef if we make, like, burrito bowls. I sneak it in there. Oh, tweezers. Tweezers work. I've done that. That's a good idea, too. Okay. Yeah. Who else is meal planning? What are you meal planning for the week? Ian and I still need to make our grocery list. And we keep, like, that's kind of where we're stuck now is I'm trying to eat healthy. And so we tend to just eat the same things every week. And I'm always like, what do you want for, for dinner this week? And he's just like, the same things, which is fine. I'm totally okay with eating the same things all the time. But sometimes it's nice to mix it up. We should do like cauliflower pizza crusts. Oh, I'm down. You'll have to zoom in once you get it done. Oh, yes. It just looks like a bunch of green lines. <laughs> Is that helpful? Oh, they can't click your oh. your link. Hmm. Your link's not linking. Don't put that. We'll put that over here. Also, has anyone been watching my plan as you go? It's on YouTube. It's been. I've really enjoyed doing it. It's been hard. Because spaghetti squash pizza crust. I haven't gotten Ian on the spaghetti squash bandwagon yet. But I feel like if it was spaghetti squash pizza, he might be into that. I did try to make like, you know, just like a classic spaghetti with spaghetti squash. And I think, I mean, he might be better about it now, but like, obviously they're not noodles. So we'll see. Maybe I, maybe I could do like a spaghetti squash fried rice. Mm. 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 Jen says, yes, she's been loving the videos. Oh, good. Yeah, I really like doing the plan as you go because I actually like have to sit there and look at what I'm planning for the week and talk to a camera about what I'm going to do. And it's actually helped me do the things that I say I'm going to do. So my best advice for anyone that struggles with using their planner every day is to film and share it with the world. Lena also says she uses multiple planners. And it's been very helpful. Yes. I was never a, multi, a multiple planner user. I did try to use two passion planners once. And one was like a fitnessy type planner. And then the other was like my regular type planner. But I think that because they're the same layout, I don't know. It just, it didn't work for me. And I think I tried to make my other one like really pretty and so that was an issue because then it took twice the amount of time to plan them out every week. And it just, it didn't work. I don't know. And I have, an, I had another or a second passion planner that I was kind of using. And I just don't know if it is that they're the same layout that it doesn't, I forget about it. I don't know. It doesn't connect with me. And I think just having like a really simple planner layout, like the plum paper planner, I'm just able to be like, okay, whatever about it. I don't know. Mm. Whatever works for you, I guess. Celeste says she loves them and she'll actually be doing my planning while watching them. Oh, planner, planner party. Morning, morning planner. I mean, I guess you guys probably get them a little later than when I'm filming them. I'm there in spirit. I'll be there with you when you plan. Yeah, if they're delayed, it's always my fault. Yeah, it's Ian's fault. <laughs> Just kidding, it's probably my fault too. You know, you know what it actually is? It's 
the computer's fault. It just takes so long to render. So long. But yeah, cheers. Cheers to Ian for editing my, my videos. Because without him, they wouldn't happen. It's true. Ah. He's a keeper. We'll keep him around. <laughs> <laughs> it's helped you get out of the box. That's good. I like it. I've been, I like, I feel like I finally am comfortable doing them now where in the beginning I was like, what am I going to talk about every day? I don't have that many things going on to talk about. But I think using that, like doing the power sheets, like that's been really entertaining. And it's been like a little scary to be like, I'm going to share all this information with the world. But in the end, like you'll still love me. And that's all that, that's all that matters. I really like this green. And it's gonna look so nicely with the little green ribbon when I take pictures later. Yep. Same. Dinner. So the weekend, what are we gonna do this weekend? No pressure. We're gonna do what all the, the hip cool kids do every weekend. Bathroom remodels. <laughs> like bathroom remodels. <laughs> That's exactly what we're gonna do. Yeah, so Ian and I, I mean, it's really just Ian because I'm doing other things. Uh, we're remodeling our basement bathroom. And the funny thing is, is when we bought our house, it was painted lime green, like legit, like neon, the color of these stickers, lime green. The irony. It was the, yeah, this, this spread is dedicated to our ugly lime green bathroom. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so we remodeled the basement so that my office could go down there. And then, like, we've just been using the bathroom, just, like, whatever. It's lime green and ugly. It's fine. Um, but Ian just, you know, he, he got the urge to break down and do a bathroom remodel. So he tore out the ugly 70s vanity that had the green sink and the ugly... It had, like, this weird, like, emerald green linoleum to go with the lime green walls and we ripped that out and the shower and it's all gutted and we went and picked up tile and hopefully it won't be ugly anymore lena says i have to watch your plum paper video again because i like the notebook you ordered and decided oh, i needed one is the that the notebook. discount code you have no, but I do have a disc. I don't actually have a discount code. It's well, weird. Yeah. The referral program. So if you want to get a plum paper planner, you have to message me your email address and then I can put it in this thing and then it'll send you an email with a 10% off code. So if you do want to get one, do it. And I like the notebook. I haven't used it yet. I actually got it because I'm going to the, con um, the alt conference, the alt summit conference, the end of March. So I kind of got it for that because I wanted to have like a sturdy notebook because like we're going to be sitting and I need to like be able to like write on my lap. Um, so I got it for that, but then I also really liked all the extra little add-ons that you can get and just couldn't, I couldn't say no. And I just wanted all of the add-ons. I was like the mom pack. Yeah, the mom pack looks great. And I'm not even a mom like... <laughs> There's just so many options. Um, and I am planning on getting more of the plum paper planners because I do want to start making stickers for them, but they just have so many options and I'm so particular about things fitting properly that I need to get all of them. So I, I, I just like, I don't trust going to the internet and being like, what are the dimensions of this? Because what if they're wrong? I can't, I can't have that kind of pressure I need to know. I want to measure. 
So I do want to get more of their planners and then do more unboxings and show you all of the layouts because they have so many, so many options. And then I like talk to other people and they're like, I'm going to get one and I'm thinking of getting this one. And then it makes me want to get one. And then before you know it, I'm going to be using a different planner for every day. And we'll be cleaning up the basement again. And we'll be, yeah, exactly. Decluttering the basement. Boom. Oh my gosh. No, nothing. Not a mom. I'm a cat mom. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Cat mom. The mom pack works for cat moms, right? Exactly. <laughs> okay. This is it. I'm going to go in and date it because otherwise I'll date it wrong. Tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow is Monday, the 11th. I can't believe we're halfway through. March. How crazy is that? And I'm almost done with my planner, which really is crazy. It's like I only have, there's only this much left. I like Jen's response. I haven't looked at the plum paper website. I'm scared yes. of what it'll do to my wallet. It will, it is, yeah. And it's funny because I never looked at the plum paper website either. And then I had a friend who was like, hey, Chelsea, would you be really upset if I stopped using Passion Planner? And I was like, no, do, do what you got to do. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. And so she was like, well, I'm like looking for a planner that has like this. Like, what do you recommend? And I was like, oh, like there's this planner that I've glanced at like once. You should go check it out. It's called the Plum Paper Planner and like sent her the link and all that stuff. And she was like, oh, my gosh, I'm obsessed. And then she got one and I was like, yeah, I just, I haven't looked at it yet because I know if I look at it, I'll get one. So I just, I don't even know what they have. And then her planner came in the mail and she showed me and I was like, that actually is kind of really cool. And that was that. So, yep. If you go, you're going to spend money. So just mentally prepare yourself and then, and then it's fine. And then you're not surprised. <laughs> And Warlock is doing great. I went and saw him today and it's like nothing ever happened and I'm, I'm happy. Hopefully our uh, farrier said that it'll probably flare up again in the fall when the seasons change and it's just, yeah, his, his hooves getting really tender. Um, but it seems like it's nothing major and he just, he's got to lose a little weight tough being a horse and so so this summer we're, we're gonna do a lot more riding which is good and it's something that I should do too because I like spending time with him and it's easy to get distracted with everyday life and not go do the things that you like to do so I'm excited that it's daylight savings time and it's gonna be brighter longer and I can go out and see him after yeah after the day wraps up. If you make stickers, oh. Yes, so I am planning on making stickers for the Plum Paper Planner. Um, it's just a matter. I'm thinking like I'll start doing it in April just because March I already have everything planned out that I want to like design as far as new releases go. And I also need to figure out what stickers to start with. That's a big challenge. I have so many stickers. And then also figuring out how to list that. Do I do separate plum paper planner listings versus passion planner listings? Or do I add the plum paper to the drop down menu? I'm kind of thinking doing separate listings so I can show the pictures of the stickers in the planner. So then the plum paper people, the, all the peas, the plum paper, it's like the purple people eater. <laughs> <laughs> The plum paper planner people can see what it looks like in the planner as opposed to in a passion planner. And then they can see like, oh, that sticker belongs here. I like showing where stickers are supposed to live, if that makes sense. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write in the days of the week 
because I can't do that and talk at the same time. This is normally where I fast forward. Yeah, this is where Ian fast forwards. What is that noise? Is it just people outside? Probably. Okay, I'm totally gonna butcher your name and I apologize, but Minerva? 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 Is that right? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, she says, oh my god, you're getting double my money with the plum paper stickers. <laughs> I've already adjusted some of your classics and compact stickers to fit. Ooh, oh. Good to know. Yeah. I know, I haven't even measured. Yeah, see, I like to show stickers where their, their home is, and then you know that they fit. Like, I hate when it's just like, here's the sticker, and you're like, but does it fit where I want it to fit? I want to know. Okay. Does it? You know, I do this every week and I can never remember what order I do them in. Ah! Spelling things wrong. I love these little whiteout tapes. I never was a whiteout tape person. I would just scribble and call it a day. But this is the little Tombow mono correction tape hybrid style. I got it off of Amazon, but it was like $10 for like 10 of these or $8 for one of them. And so I just got 10 of them because why not? Okay, that's done. Let's fill this guy out really quick. I hope, I hope this is dry. Work left to right. I know I should have. The, this pen actually dries really quick on, on my stickers. So normally there isn't too much smudging, but I totally, I don't know what happened there, but something. You know what it probably was? I probably had lotion on my hands. Mm. That's going to be my guess. Okay, you guys, I think this is it. You should lift it up. I should lift it up. Do a little little scan by. Insert dramatic music. Did you enjoy this? Oh, I need to trim this little corner because I think it'd be fun to do these more often. I have one scheduled for next week too. And then the week after that, I'm gonna be on an airplane going to California where it's sunny and warm and there isn't snow. And I'm gonna go stay in a rainbow hotel and maybe run into Joanna Gaines and we'll be best friends and she'll come do the bathroom demo with Ian and I. You know, that's my plan. <laughs> yeah, so I'm planning next week as well to do a live plan with me and we'll figure out a time if you guys want to do later, if you want to do earlier, I'll post another poll. Don't forget my post-its. I know I was going to write them in later. <laughs> Perfect. See, I told you, don't let me forget them. They actually go like this. 
and yeah no I think doing more of these I think now that I'm more comfortable filming like that's the hard part is just like not being silent the whole time and coming up with things to talk about so I'm totally down to share these share these more often with you guys and do some more plan with me's and we can have a little a little club I'll make shirts it'll be great but yeah I think I think that's it Ian and I are gonna go to the grocery store in Chipotle. Yeah. Yeah. Get a burrito bowl. Mmm. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. And I'm gonna throw this out there. If you do want to get a plum paper planner and you want a 10% off code, send me a DM with your email. They do take a million years to arrive in your inbox, but they'll show up eventually. <laughs> Where do you or, want them to DM you? I mean, on Facebook, on Instagram, on Etsy, on whatever form of social media you want to message me on. I'll accept. And yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Bye! Ian, say bye. Bye. <laughs>